firewood, an essential part of life all over the world. This precious resource plays an important role in every rural family's life. It is here, in the poorest parts of the world, that villagers spend a good portion of their day gathering wood to cook, heat, and make charcoal. This dependence on wood has a remarkable impact on forests and economies worldwide. Globally, forests are being depleted at a rate of 2.5 to 3 percent per year. This happens because people need the wood for cooking, and wood today is the most available and economical resource. Destructions of these forests affects the rural poor, making it harder and harder for them to find firewood. It also has a wider effect of contributing to global climate change. But what are the alternatives? Where wood is not available, dung and straw have been used for centuries. But these resources provide an unhealthy and inefficient alternative. Other options like fuel wood plantations, petroleum derived fuels, charcoal, solar, and wind energy are impractical or expensive without subsidy from governments, NGOs, or donors. With wood providing the base fuel for over two billion people, the alternatives would require a massive investment beyond what the Western world is willing to pay. The fact remains that unless there is a viable alternative, nearly 50% of the citizens of this planet will continue to cook their one or two meals per day in a single pot resting on three rocks and burning fuel wood. As far back as 1979, there were attempts to create artificial fuel wood briquettes using sawdust, straw, or peat. These briquettes were supposed to solve the world's fuel wood problems. But the briquette making machines were expensive, highly technical, and required, ironically, great amounts of electricity. It was not until the briquetting process could be altered to address the real rural and urban poor environment that it would succeed. In the early 1980s, Dr. Ben Bryant and students at the University of Washington in the USA developed a novel low-cost briquette making process using non-woody agriculture residues, ordinary water, and a hand-operated wood press. The briquette process was simple and could be established in poor and rural communities, requiring little technology and very little money. De la briqueta. Se muelen los materiales con un molino de mano y después se humedece el material con agua. With a small effort, villagers could now create their own fuel wood from agriculture residues. To make a briquette, ordinary leaves, grass, and straw would be chopped and mashed into a paste. This paste would then be compressed into round cakes and dried. The resulting briquette would be sold as fuel wood and a charcoal substitute in a local market. In 1994, the Legacy Foundation picked up on Bryant's briquette process and extended the outreach activities. Legacy Foundation adapted the process and created a small network of producers in Malawi, East Africa, where the first pilot program was launched in the village of Mchinji. The work in Africa led to other briquette extension assignments, one of the most interesting in Cusco, Peru. Legacy Foundation, with the support of ADRA, trained local trainers in the briquette making process, leading to practical projects in three communities in the Cusco region of the Andean Mountains. In Peru, the same process that was used in East Africa was applied to the local skills and resources. The success of the briquette technology was not only in its simplicity, but in the fact that it offered a sustainable income generating opportunity. Not only are briquettes easy to make, but they allow the rural and urban poor to make money in the process. By replacing firewood and charcoal with briquettes, producers can now increase their income by 20 percent. 
income generation along with saving the environment makes briquette making a sustainable solution to poverty reduction. Today, Legacy Foundation's training and online media services have influenced the spread of the briquette technology and process beyond Malawi and Peru into 11 new countries. In Haiti, World Concern, the U.S. Peace Corps, and the Jane Wynn Foundation and Engineers Without Borders have established three projects. In Uganda, the Gulu Support of the Children Organization has a production activity and the Uganda Institute of Industrial Research is providing briquette presses and material processing equipment. In southern Mexico, the Desmuni and Tecama Ecoterra organizations have reproduced the press and conducted demonstrations in Comitán, Chiapas State. In Kenya, members of the Wood family, the Miyunboni Women's Group, the Kengami Women's Empowerment Association, and the Kisi Briquetters Association continue to extend the technology nationally through demonstration and training activities in more than 30 areas of the nation. In Nepal, the Foundation for Sustainable Technology has established a briquette training and production center in Kathmandu. What do you think of this? No, I don't have any idea. This is a serrín. I think they fabricate this serrín. This material is logical because... And if I tell you that this is a new type of wood. Yes. Despite all the efforts, however, the demand far exceeds the capacity of this small network to fully respond to the ever-growing problems of deforestation and poverty. The existing network of briquette practitioners is at best only reaching a small percentage of the target population and is only having an impact on the environment in areas where the briquettes are produced. The demand for briquettes is as huge as the number of trees being destroyed for firewood. How you can help. Support a training of trainers program the impact of one training is phenomenal. It increases income exponentially and has a marked impact of reducing demand on firewood. One 40-person training event can reduce firewood consumption by over 900 tons per year. Support the development of a network of briquette trainers and producers worldwide with the provisions of basic computers and email access to selected briquette training and production activities. A network will allow for integrated communication between the producers, shared technologies, innovations, and training approaches, and truly make the briquette project a grassroots and widespread movement. Support research and development of improved processing technologies, including new presses, threshing technologies, stoves, and testing of new blends, which are constantly being developed by several members of the Briquette Trainers and Producers Network. Legacy Foundation provides direct, simple, and easily monitored solutions to the problems outlined in this video. Briquettes alone will not solve the world's environmental problems, but they are a step in the right direction. By combining financial incentive while reducing forest destruction, this product aims to be a simple solution to a complex problem. Your help in reducing global poverty while saving the environment is greatly appreciated. <laughs>